In order to replace the battery to this machine, make sure you turn off your machine and disconnect the power cable. Okay, in this video we're going to talk about uh, the battery of the machine. As all the computers have a little battery on the motherboard, and when the battery runs out, uh, the uh, when you turn on your machine, you will notice that your designs maybe disappear from the memory, or uh, some parameters as well will disappear. It will reset the computer basically. The battery actually maintains the memory, so when the the battery runs out the machine uh, will lose all the information uh, like designs or parameters and that kind of thing. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the batteries, a very easy uh, procedure. Uh, the first thing that you need to see on your machine is, is make sure you have the 285 model. How do you do that? Well, on your screen, if you have the horizontal screen, it's okay. If if you have the uh, vertical screen uh, on the back have this sticker right here you need to confirm if you have the 285 model uh, 285 models and up uh, will be able to replace uh, the battery those motherboards has a coin that looks like a coin battery so let me show you how to replace the battery make sure you disconnect the power cable and um, you have to remove this cover right here. You got a screw on top, two on the back, and one right here. You remove this screw, you remove this cover, and then you will see this silver plate right here. So we're going to have four screws right here in order to remove this silver plate. You remove those screws, and you will be able to remove this silver plate. Then you will expose the motherboard. So as you can see the motherboard, here's the battery right there. There's the battery that we need to replace. Very easy to remove. Actually we got a little clip right here. You press that and the battery will eject. So you just pick the battery out. You can purchase this battery on our website store or you can go to Walgreens and uh, you can purchase this battery there. if if, if you need it right away. Any Walgreens would carry this battery. Actually, it will look like this. So this is the battery that you need, the 2032 battery. Uh, and you can purchase it on any Walgreens store for six or seven dollars. Uh, or like I said, you can purchase it on our website. Now to install the battery, just place the battery here and push it very carefully and that's it that's all you need to do then you place back the silver plate put the two screws on top and then the cover place the screws back tighten them up and it's ready to go okay after you have replaced the battery to your redline embroidery machine uh, you will lose all the parameters, so we have to set up basically all the parameters for the Redline machine, and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing is probably will be in Chinese, so we have to go to this icon right here and then change the language. So you're going to put English, now we're in English, and then we will have to go to this two gear icon and let's check all the parameters so the first nothing will be changed here right here uh, design through view no in here we TB back stitches we're gonna put five up to clopplers that's okay Winding thread wheel, make sure you have the th uh, winding thread wheel, otherwise it won't detect your thread breaks. The parameters, everything will be at zero. So I'm going to show you how to set up the parameters in a little while. Let's check uh, the other 
uh, jump stitch speed uh, here shift stitch link I'm gonna change that to 5 and then OK start up stitches 5 um, that's everything it's OK right here needles it doesn't show because we got a sticker here but the, the, here it's needles it says 12 we need to change that to 15 okay now to set up your frames we need to do uh, the, the we need to set the frame origin so go here and then frame I'm sorry set frame origin auto set frame origin the panograph will move okay and then exit and then you are going to be able to set up your frames frame pattern one clothing a okay we got zeros so the first thing you need to do is to, to look for your center so you're gonna move oh we gotta pick a design you, you have to put your pantograph on the center so you're gonna move here until you like the center so try to uh, locate the center of the pantograph and then you will copy this numbers right here 45 minus I'm sorry 95 minus 45 okay so what we're going to do is go here and then frame pattern here and it's going to be 95 minus 45 that's my center on this machine and then for the frame A will be 435 millimeters by 285 and it's going to be rectangular and then OK and then the second one it's going to be 95 here it's minus minus 95 45 now not all the machines have the same center you have to locate your center and then copy the center that the machine will display and then but the hoops will be all the same so in here is going to be 225 raise 225 rectangular and that's the 30 by 30 45 minus I'm sorry this is 90 5 minus 45 and then it will be 180 180 this is going to be circle the D minus I know it's going to be 95 minus 45 the D it's 130 erase 130 circle letter E it's going to be 495 minus 45 100 circle and the F minus 95 I'm sorry 95 minus 45 70 that's 70 millimeters circle and there we go the rest you can use it for 
aftermarket hoops. Just measure in millimeters what area that you want for those aftermarket hoops and you can play. The center will be, will be the same all the time. Okay, to set up the cap will be two gears, frame pata, hat frame, okay, clear 101, 15, 360, and 70. Now I will recommend to check those values when you put the cap frame, just move the pantograph to see if you like those values. You can always check, uh, change those, it's going to be rectangular. Okay, that's for cap. 